This segment on how cast, how to box, is intermediate footwork. Pivoting is essential, especially when you're trying to follow your opponent. Terry's going to assume his stance, all right? Terry's going to pivot in circles for us, quarter turns. He can do a complete circle, or he can go left to right. Perfect. And pivot left. Nice work. So this way, if your opponent moves one way, all he has to do is pivot step versus one taking three, four steps to change an angle. This is a quick way to change an angle and be there ready to execute your attack on your opponent. All right? Terry, practice your walk. Look how difficult that is, all right? Terry's gonna evade me by walking, giving me a shoulder. So when I walk to Terry, Terry has enough space, there's no need to panic. Terry's just gonna walk. Therefore, if I try to get up on Terry and he wants to avoid me, he can turn his walk into a little jog. You've seen Bernard Hopkins do this on several occasions. The speed step is a combination it's athletic footwork. You open up the feet, bounce, and then you walk off. Terry's gonna show it, show us how it's done. So his speed step, he opens up his feet and walks off. So the speed step is work step by step by exploding off your feet, loading the back foot, and moving off that foot into your walk. That's the speed step. It's a very useful step when you need to move from A to B quickly and you have enough space to do so. The speed step works fantastic. Pivoting, walking off, and speed step are essentials with regard to intermediate footwork for boxing. There's many other techniques, except we'll leave that to the pros. This is for you, beginners at home and intermediate people. If you get proficient with your footwork and you learn the basic footwork and intermediate steps, you'll be surely on the rise to learning and being proficient at boxing at home.